again. My first real tree camp. Really looking forward to this one. The tree I've chosen is behind me. It's an evergreen. I'm not 100% sure what variety of a tree it is. I'll try and show you the, the branches. I'll zoom in on those in a bit so you can get a, a better look. The tree is uh, about 50, 60 feet high, but it's underneath the canopy of some larger sycamore and beech trees. So the place I've chosen to pitch my portal edge is fantastic. It feels great up there. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna move all my gear underneath the tree all the branches droop down so there's quite an area underneath where I've got to start climbing. I'll just zoom in on the, the foliage a bit closer up so if anybody can uh, help me with identifying the tree would be appreciated. I'm underneath the tree now, quite dark under here compared to being outside. Got all my gear in here. So basically, first job, get some ropes up, climb up the tree and then haul all my kit up to my chosen uh, camping spot. This is going to be an awful lot of fun, is this? That's the climbing rope in place. On this side, I'm just tying an alpine butterfly. Very useful tree climbing knot. So that will act as a stop knot against the small ring of the friction saver. As an added precaution, I'm just going to slip a carabiner in there. So if I pull that up, chuck that lot out of the way. So this is my climbing rope. So, like I say, I'm going to climb up this rope to my time point up there, swap over to my lanyards and then climb to the top of the tree, taking the rope with me and advance the tie, tying point right at the top of the tree and then we'll be in a position to get all the gear up then. So that's got me up to the tying point. Gonna get a lanyard straight on. So I'm secure on this lanyard now. So I'm gonna dismantle this lot and then make my way further up the tree using my two lanyards.
nearly there now about another 10 foot and that's uh, where I'm going to pitch my portalage for the night just going to make my way up this last bit at the top of the tree now got uh, my slings in place if you see there you should be able to see the, the cambium savers in place and that's my climbing gear there, it's uh, a sender and rig. So I can use that to go up and down the tree whenever I want. Um, it's also there for emergency if I suddenly had to go down. If we come round this side, you can see the purple sling. It's got a big carabiner on. That's where I'm going to hang the portalage from. And above that, you'll see that little bl uh, block in a small sling that's what I'm gonna haul the portalage up with hopefully I've learned from last time I've set it quite a bit higher so I can pull the portalage up to the right height and then just uh, hang it on the main carabiner so I think we'll we'll get all the gear up here now, portalage and me, me rucksack with all my gear in so I'm going to haul all that lot up and get that in position now just going to get the portalage set up now I reckon this is one of the, the hardest things I've ever filmed for YouTube this but we'll get on One more to go. This is not easy at all. One more corner to get in. Right, I'm pleased to say that's it basically set up. I'm going to level it up a bit, get it set at the right height, and then get a uh, Bivy bag, sleeping bag, mattress and pillow out. Um, I might not be doing much else tonight because it's taken me a lot longer than I thought and the light is uh, going to go probably in an hour. So I might have to forgo using my stove. Um, we'll try that in the morning if uh, I lose the light. So I'm just going to check everything and make sure it's all levelled up. Just thought I'd show you my new stove and cup holder. So we won't be having a steak dinner yet, but at least I can uh, make a cup of coffee. Which, after setting this lot up, 
I am gasping for one. All mod cons. I made this out of a, uh, don't know if you recognise it, it's uh, an old fashioned uh, colander for rinsing vegetables. Got it on eBay. A little stove from my local Go Outdoors uh, store. Bit of chain from B&Q. Put it together and you've got a suspended stove. This is my cup holder. Again, 10 minutes on the same machine and I've got a, a cup holder so I'm going to wait for this to boil and then have a, a well earned cup of coffee once I got the portillage set up things seemed to go together a lot a lot better a lot quicker I've got a platform to work off I can hang all my gear around me and it, it feels a lot better uh, probably got an hour uh, time away oh it's half past seven so I've probably got about an hour and a half of daylight left but it goes like anything so I wanted to have a drink I've got a couple of sandwiches uh, no fancy meals tonight I'm gonna have them and uh, then get my sleeping gear out and uh, see what sort of night I'll have I'm always I'm wearing my saddle tree climbing saddle all the time and I'm uh, anchored to the tree at all times so I can't fall I don't know how that's going to work with a sleeping bag and a bivy bag but we'll have to see what I also brought with me was a simple climber's belt very lightweight I might if I can't get to sleep with this I might swap into the climber's uh, belt but we'll see it's a bit of a test run this uh, i'm just happy that i'm up here um that's uh that's the main part just get this boiled and then uh, can have that well earned cup of coffee It does feel, it's hard to explain what it feels like up here. Probably about 45 feet up. I can see the forest floor and the trees and the leaves all around me. But I don't know what it's going to be like when the light goes. It does feel a bit sort of mystical in a way, if I can think of a word to describe it. Yeah, very mystic. But it's not easy to film. This is the most difficult thing I have ever filmed for YouTube. I think if I go any on any other um, tree camps, it'll be a, a simple selfie stick, a lot easier. I might resort to that uh, for tomorrow morning. We'll, we'll see if I can uh, get my camera out where I've got it, get a better picture. Oh, great. Looks like uh, the kettle's boiling. And then it goes. We've even got real milk. Thought I'd treat myself. Till it's finding somewhere to, to put everything. Everything's got to be hung or anchored down somewhere. That's 
That's for my breakfast, huh? A well earned cup of coffee. 45 foot up in a tree. Oh, I was ready for that. Well, I might do a bit of filming in the night. Um, we'll see how it goes. It, it is difficult. But if I can... Uh, if I hear anything or see anything, I'll get my camera out and uh, we'll f film the, the tree canopy, probably in the dark and uh, dawn, something like that. But when I've uh, drunk this, I'm going to get all my sleeping gear out then. I must admit, I feel shattered. The amount of energy one person to haul all this gear up and then set it up. And of course the filming, but, but that's what it's about. It's about making a film. So I accept it's gonna take, it's gonna take half the time is just the filming. If it was just a matter of setting up and not filming, you do it in no time. But this is about making a good video, a different video. I'm pleased with this. It works great. I made the stove and then I thought, well, I'm going to put my cup. You can't exactly balance it anywhere. But so simple to make and so effective. I just thought I'd show you my sleeping gear before the light goes. What I've got, I've got an old Thermarest mattress there. Don't think I really need it for insulation. It's just giving me a bit more comfort and sort of try it out. Um, I could imagine if it was colder, you would need it for a bit of uh, insulation. I've got a Gore-Tex bivy bag. That's basically to keep the dew off me. If there is any dew, I don't know what you get up here. Um, a simple lightweight down sleeping bag. It is June, so it's not cold. And I bought this uh, pillar, especially for this camp. I felt like I'm going to be laid on my back with my climbing saddle on, so I wanted a bit of comfort for my neck. So that, that's the basic setup, really. Got a couple of head torches scattered about. Got a bottle there in case I need to go to the toilet. And, and that's it, like, it's just like a normal wild camp. Um, just up in a tree, a little bit different. That's all full of water, ready for a early morning uh, cup of coffee. Got a bit of cereal, uh, I might have that, see how I feel. So if I see anything interesting, I'll film it or hear anything. I could imagine it's just gonna be dark, it's gonna feel very strange. And I might just stay tucked in here. Um, like I say, if there's anything to film or any sounds, I'll try and record them. So, I'll see you in the morning. Night then. Just got the sound of a couple of owls calling each other. Hope I'm not in their tree.
Well that's dawn breaking and that's the dawn chorus. Four o'clock in the morning. Hopefully Mr. Owl will go to bed now. I think I'm gonna have a little bit longer. Morning, not a bad night's sleep. I was awake at first and then probably after four o'clock, the dawn chorus, that woke me up and then I, I went back to sleep quite solid after that. It's about eight o'clock now, so I've had a, a reasonable amount of sleep. Kept me tree climbing, harness on, got that round the tree on the right hand side. It wasn't bad at all, I thought I'd be uncomfortable with all the loops and hardware on, but uh, it wasn't bad at all. And the bivvy bag, that was a good idea. Now, there was no dew on me at all, so I assume the sort of tree canopy above me has protected me from any, any dew. But it, it was there in case there had been any rain or anything like that. It was also useful for putting my camera and my phone, a few odds and ends, they sort of kept secure in the top of the bivy bag. If it wasn't for that, I don't know where you'd put them, you'd have to have them uh, either hung up or in, a, in another rucksack. So it was useful. So, next. Get myself up, get my boots on. I think we'll get this stove on. Time for a cup of coffee and a bit of simple breakfast. Just a bit of cereal, that's all. Right, that's the kettle on. So it's just a simple breakfast. Just gonna have a cup of coffee. And I've got this uh, bit of cereal. That'll do me today. It might be a while before I'm up here with a frying pan and a full English. I think that is a challenge, that. Oh, that smells nice. Can't beat a cup of coffee or tea in the morning. So what I'm going to do, what the plan is, finish my breakfast off and then start. I'll start dismantling everything. I'll probably take everything down, get it on the floor, pack it up then and then I'll have a, a last word with you before I head off home. Just having a sit down, I feel a bit shattered. A lot of efforting lowering all the gear down and packing everything away. But what an amazing camp. 
It is, it is another world up there, up in the tree canopy. It's a totally different world. What a fantastic experience, really enjoyed it. I think the hardest part was hauling all the gear up last night. I, I knew I hadn't got too much daylight left and things were taking longer than I anticipated and I nearly gave up. I thought, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up in the dark soon. But I thought, no, I've come out to do a tree camp and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm glad I carried on. Because once the portalage was set up, everything went uh, a lot smoother. But it was such hard work hauling it all up. I probably will camp up there again. It's such a great spot. But I'm gonna try and reduce the weight of some of my gear. Um, that might help a bit so I've not such a heavy weight to haul up. But yeah, great experience, great experience. So for my next camp, gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna find a nice day, walk up a hill, find a nice level spot with a nice view, pitch me tent and go to sleep. I ain't done one of those camps for a while, so I think that may be my next camp. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I certainly have. Fantastic. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next camp. See you then. Bye.